Hey guys, I've decided to make a bunch of videos to explain a few nodes in Nuke that I see sometimes uh, some compositors don't really know how to use or they don't know what they should use it for. So I'm going to start today with the STMAP node. So the STMAP node is a node that is used to, as Foundry put it in the documentation, to move pixel around the image basically and the way it works is you create a uv map basically so something that is a map where uh, and i'm going to make it quick one here that has the coordinate u and v embedded so uh, let's make something like this so that's basically what a uv map looks like when uh, u is exactly x and y is exactly v right u and v so if I take a checkerboard and I plug this in that, so the first thing is which channel I'm deforming from the source, and the second one is which channel I'm using to deform from the STMAP input. And for this one, I'm going to put RGB because that's the one I have here, right? I'm RGB and here. So it's not doing anything because the map here is exactly matching the image, right? But if I were to uh, distort this map, let's say scale it, then the result of the ST map would be scaling my original image too. So you might wonder what can I use it for? It allows you to record a transformation as an image, right? So basically this image here is the transformation of scaling by 0.5 here. And if you were to, let's say, add a grain to this, right so it would be just grainy like this what it would do is that it would deform my original image according to this grain which means that the pixel that was at zero zero here would become it would come here plus whatever the grain is uh, altering it so that's why you have this deformation if you were to dissolve it like that all right you could see that already you could get some kind of effect for this so the way you can use it is for example if you want to create a deformation outside of new so i have an example here where i have uh, i'm doing some tests with the lensing so i created a, a lens a 3d lens in uh, maya and then i rendered it with v-ray with the uv image that i showed you earlier behind that lens right so you can see already it has this lens in there. So if I'm using that to try to form my checkerboard again, ST map. Again, that's my ST map and that's my source. So I'm deforming all the channels and I'm using the RGB channel of that to deform. So the result will be something like this, which is basically exactly the refraction of what my 3D lens is doing on uh, that image so you can deform that you can you know uh, reformat that to hd but distorting it so it's, your map will be square again i don't know if it makes sense but basically that means that if even if i'm moving this it's going to deform according to the lens that is in front of it because i recorded quote unquote the, the transformation of the pixel with this map so that's how that's one of the uses you can have for it which is kind of cool because you can do things like if instead of this you had a just a, just a little circle, right? You could see how the circle would move through a lens, right? And it creates kind of interesting effects here that really make it look like it's going through a lens, right? And the reason why I was looking into that is a few years back I did a lens flare gizmo, and I'm trying to do another one where I'm using these as actual lenses and accumulating them together in order to create lens flare. And I can show you an example that I have rendered as a test and kind of shows how it actually make a transformation that looks like a lens. You know, the, the texture on the bokeh here or the, the circles that I've, that I've used similar to this one are actually deforming according to the different lenses that I have uh, in this setup, right? So that's an example. Another thing you can note in the ST map is that some of the nodes in Nuke are already using it to export um, transformations. So for example, you have the uh, lens distortion node is doing that. So you can, if you create a lens distortion 
and then you set it up to whatever you like, right? So it goes like this, for example, right? What you can do is that instead of distorting only, you can export an ST map of it. And in uh, the, I think it's a forward channel, or I think it both actually, yeah. That's the same thing. So it's in this channel, it will export the ST map of your lens distortion. So you could, for example, write this down as an image. Uh, it would have to be EXR 32 bit because you have you need to have all the the values that are different per pixel. Otherwise, you're gonna have blocks of like let's say this whole area being the same value, right? So you don't want that. You want the full uh, uh, float or half float uh, values. So we would write this image as a as a EXR, and you can reload it and uh, end up with a with the, your regular image like this, or UV, and then nothing there, and export that as an image for someone else. You and then this person could use your ST map to deform whatever checker he has by just using the deformation that you can see is the same exact deformation as the the lens where it was uh, was doing. So that's another use of the ST map to basically exchange uh, deformations. And I think the vector distort has it too. You can uh, export as a map as well. Uh, there's a few nodes in Nuke that are using this thing, which is a very uh, practical uh, system to use. So obviously there is a little bit more to it, but this is a simple explanation for now, and we can come back to it later and look at it into more details. If you have more questions about the ST map node, let me know in the comments and I'll uh, do my best to answer uh, your questions. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. See you next time.